Hi guys, this is Mick from CypherTown.com and today I'm going to try to answer a question I get kind of often, which is, why would you use a Cypher device? And in particular, why would you use a mechanical, non-computer type Cypher device? Well, that is kind of a good question in today's world. And I hope I can give you some type of an answer, which uh, will seem appropriate. No. These are all Creative Craft House products I have here. This is their classic CSA cipher, which was of course used by the Confederate Army during the Civil War, the American Civil War. And uh, here we have the Enigma 3, which is a really cool encryption machine of their own design, which works really well. It has these three movable gears which have letters on them and they also have other alphabets on the other side and you can reorient them with relation to each other and also change their positions so you can make some powerful encryptions with this relatively simple little tool here with the right procedures and we also have here the granddaddy of all cipher devices and this is the Alberti cipher which was created over five centuries ago and this cipher in particular uh, I have taken a fancy to. Uh, it is a great cipher for those who want to be a little creative with the crypt encryptions. So why would you use these and why would you not use a computer? Well one of the initial reasons to use one of these things is they're actually kind of fun to use. They're fun to create encryptions and to use them to decrypt. But why would you use this, these methods when there are modern apps for your phone and all sorts of programs for your computer where you can do similar type things? Hmm? Why? Well, a lot of it has to do with security. Because when you put things into your computer, you kind of lose security right then and there. So let's clear these off to the side for a minute, and I'll use my whiteboard to talk about this a little bit. So, when we have our computer, and I'll draw a nice classic computer from the 1990s. Put in the five and a quarter drive and the three and a half. <laughs> Here's your base there. Why would you use a, a computer? Not, not a 1990s computer, but you know, a modern computer. And use this in favor or over the mechanical device, which I'll just demonstrate as, as a cyber disk. Well, anything you put in this nowadays is connected in one way or another to the world. And not only does it let things out, but it lets things in. So with this, as soon as you type on it, as soon as you use the keyboard, type in information, it has a really good potential for insecurity. Once it goes in here, we really can't say for sure that someone else isn't going to look at it, someone else isn't going to try to decipher it, someone else isn't going to use it in some way that you may not want to. Also, things that are made with a computer tend to have certain properties which are easier to get the answer to because those things have to follow along certain types of rules and use certain types of functions, algorithms and such. So you have several things going on here. One, you introduce insecurity. Two, 
you have to rely on someone else. Yeah, whenever you're using a program for encryption, you are relying on that programmer or that company that it will be safe. So you have to have a lot of trust when you do this. Trust for the computer, trust for the operating system, trust for the software, trust for the people who made the software. So trust is a huge factor here. And faith. Really, it's a matter of faith. When you use a mechanical cipher and do your own encipherment, providing you have a pretty good method, much of this is really diminished. And even if you end up sending this across the internet at some point, whatever you encrypt here, it won't be susceptible to all these possible incursions that can occur along this method, or at least along the process. Because remember, when you're typing anything in, there's the potential for a keylogger. Once it's in the system, there is the potential for viruses and Trojan horses and all sorts of problems. Even if you're using a relatively secure encryption program, don't you think there's a backdoor in that somewhere that the programmer knows how to get in and defeat the encryption? Yes. So using sometimes perhaps not even the most secure manual encryption device and eliminating a lot of these steps and maybe transmitting this in a very secure fashion. And there are a number of things you can do to try to transmit your message very securely that may or may not even use the internet. And you, there are other ways to do it. You can have a much higher level of security than you can here. Additionally, you can in, do you introduce real randomness that is not possible over here because the computer can only create pseudo, pseudo random. Pseudo randomness, which is a lot easier to find patterns in. So, what would we encrypt? What are you going to encrypt? Well, one of the most basic things that people can encrypt that is pretty much in everybody's house is a book you have hidden somewhere, which probably has all your many passwords. And that book is probably pretty powerful as far as keys to your life, if someone got that book. So even if you only use a encryption device, a manual encryption device, to rewrite those passwords into some type of a secure cryptogram, or even marginally secure cryptogram, it's going to be of great benefit to you should that book fall into someone's hands that you don't want to have it. These are also great if you live in a house with someone someone else who you don't want them to have your passwords or a way for them to get your passwords. So you can encrypt something relatively easy with these tools and that other person, whether it be a significant other, a child, a parent, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, Anyone else won't be able to easily get that book and go, aha, this is my way in. So I hope that helps answer the question a little bit. Ciphers have a lot of other uses too. You can use them to send yourself secret messages. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are actually a number of circumstances where you might want a message from yourself. And those things can be as simple as, let's say you have a lot of keys. And when you go on vacation, you don't want to take all your keys. So you hide the keys somewhere in your house. And you go away for your vacation. Well, 
you have a tendency to forget things. And when you come back, you can't remember where the keys are. Now, if you send yourself a cryptogram and stick it on the refrigerator, you can simply decrypt the encryptogram, the cryptogram, and you will be able to find where your keys are. <laughs> it's kind of a weird example, but it can be very useful. And I know a couple of people who use them just for that purpose. So um, this video has gone on long enough, I think, for this question. Uh, I hope it gives you something to think about. I hope you uh, will maybe uh, think about trying a uh, manual cipher device such as this. Uh, cryptology is a very fun and interesting topic. Uh, we use it every day in our life now with computers. And uh, when you do it yourself, through uh, manual encryption, you learn a lot about the process, and you also feel like you have very good control over things because what you end up creating is, is truly yours. You craft the cryptogram. It is yours, almost like an artistic creation. So thanks for watching. Um, this is Mick from CypherTown.com, signing off for tonight.